Hello beautiful people, welcome back. As we know that close range fights always occurs in critical situations. In these circumstances, your survival chance gets lower and lower. And of course, a single mistake can throw you back to the lobby. So if you want to avoid being thrown back to the lobby, then subscribe to Termite Gamer. Because he teaches some great life lessons that no philosopher can do. Jokes aside, close range battle usually happens when two teams or players clashes. It usually comes down to a 1 vs 1 battle. These intense encounters demand quick reflexes and split-second decision making. So in this video, I will show you how you can master or improve your close range skills, but also in just 1 or 2 days. But before I start, make sure to drop a thousand likes on this video, otherwise I will go and cry in the corner. Alright, so the basic tip that I personally use is, don't run away from the danger, walk towards it. Many players won't understand this line, because they don't use their unused brain. Maybe they are saving it to use it after marriage. Stop it. Anyways, tip 1, be the danger. Now, as I just said, don't run away from danger, walk towards it. By this phrase, it means that you need to be fearless. Take risk and don't fear of being dead or getting killed. Before I explain further, watch this clutch first, then I will explain later. So, as you saw this greatest clutch of mine. Here, you will find lots and lots of techniques that I personally used. Let me explain. First, I didn't make unnecessary movements. I was just doing a simple jiggle movement. 2. My crosshair accuracy. 3. Fewer bullets. I knocked 3 of them with just 26 bullets, and still 4 bullets remains. 4. Pre-fire. And 5. Hip fire. If you understand all these, I will say you are a master already. You just need to focus more on your accuracy and hip fire, rather than on your movements. Tip 2. Improve 1v1. If you want to improve your close combat, then this is super needed. Because 1 vs 1 is the most basic step to master your close range skills. And if you can't even do a 1v1 fight, then you should delete this game and go watch Pogo. This time I'm not kidding. Stop hiding, stop camping, and stop snaking. Enough is enough. Take fights or fight me face to face. Choice is yours. Jokes aside, whenever you are being rushed by a whole squad, then try somehow to deal all of them in a 1v1 situation. You need to make that situation happen by yourself. Watch this clip to understand better. Tip 3. Play aggressive. When it comes to close range, playing like a lazy hippo won't work. Instead, be aggressive, keep pre-firing at their positions. Try to deal damage at least. Keep moving one place to another. This will make your opposition scared, and then you can win it easily. Watch this clutch to understand my point.
Tip 4. Accuracy. Work on your accuracy. Don't just spray all the 40 bullets blindly. Try to make those count. I have seen many newbies spraying at whole 360 degree angle because they get panic. Do not do this. Accuracy is the key, and it can not only make you win one-on-one, -on -one, but also four-on-one -on -one as well. Tip 5. Practice. Close range fights demand quick reflexes and accurate aim. Regularly practice your reflexes and aim through training modes or by participating in arcade matches or team death matches. Developing muscle memory and honing your shooting skills will greatly improve your chances of success in close quarter battles. Hip firing can be more effective than aiming down sights. It allows for greater mobility and quicker target acquisition. So practice controlling recoil while firing from the hip to increase your accuracy. Alright guys, so that's gonna wrap it up for today, thank you so much for watching. Do leave a thousand likes and also subscribe if you are interested in philosophy. And now, watch my potato gameplay, peace. Watch out! Watch out! Danger up ahead!
Watch out. Awesome. Watch out. Let's go. Help. 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 Awesome. It is showtime. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks. Awesome.